Leo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot back at it again for the March reading for 2019. And to let you know what is going on in the energies and in the universe. Yes, indeed. Leo, Leo, what it be, baby? Yes, 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 indeed. Um, thank you again to everyone who's been liking my videos, sharing, and for all of the new subscribers. Shout out to all of y'all. Thank you so much for liking my videos and sharing my videos. Thank you, thank you so much for the love. Thank you to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings with me. If you would like to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page. There's a hyperlink. There's a blue link at the bottom of the page that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation, you could do so. There's a hyperlink in the description, okay? So, let's get into the reading, Leo, okay? Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. For, for Leo. Thank you so much for the determination, the love, and just self-motivation. We are self-motivated as ever. Oh, I just feel a deep sigh of relief and just comfort and just, uh, ability. Just, I feel like we have all of the resources that we need to just shape our life and just mold this new picture, this new frame, this new canvas, and to put beautiful colors of paintings and just, you know, I mean... Leo is creating right now. They're in a creation stage. And you know how Leo be when they got a mission and they have something on their mind that they're trying to accomplish. And they trying to accomplish this new beginning and creating this um, beautiful, luxurious foundation for their self, you know. So thank you and praise God to that. Please give the sign of Leo some additional abundance and guidance throughout the month of March. Please give us guidance. And thank you so much for all of the messages that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Father God, please give us guidance surrounding the sign of Leo for March 2019. Thank you again. Please give me guidance for the sign of Leo. Alright. Thank you so much. Please give me guidance for the sign of Leo. Mend a broken heart, fairy. All right. Time to mend that broken heart, all right? And move forward. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe that a lot of people that have been dealing with a Leo as well have been going through this, trying to mend their broken heart from dealing with something with a Leo. And I definitely feel like... Some Leos have been going through a little bit of heartbreak their self that they're trying to mend their heart and move forward. Like I said, they're creating that new world, that new foundation around them. And um, you can't do that unless you, you know, heal from heartache. Okay? So it says, here she comes to gather up your heart sore pieces and place a sweet bandage on it that is most wounded. And this one tender gesture does not I'm sorry. And this one tender gesture does more to heal than could years of therapy. Excuse me. Let me turn this down because this is like throwing me off. Okay. Sorry. Let me start over. Here she comes to gather up your heart sore pieces and place a sweet bandage on the place that is most wounded. And this one tender gesture does more than heal. See, it's the way that they worded this throwing me off. I'm like, why can't I read? Okay, hold on. And this one tender gesture does more to heal you than could thousand years of therapy. It is time for small kindness to be received for you to know that this little gift of friendship and sweetness are the ones that will assist you most at this time. Allow yourself to be treated gently 
to be attended to with kindness and to be hugged. Allow yourself to accept that at this time when you need to be taken good care of and to take good care of yourself. You are healing and on the mend, but do not undo her medicine by forcing yourself to hurry up and get rid of it. I feel like, Leo, like some people have been trying to come through and, and help you and, and kind of nurturing you give you affection you just be like man get off me i'm all right i'm all right like no like like let people take care of you and if they see you going through something let people you know help you at this time all right the mending broken heart very speaks you've been hurt and this heart feels bruised to me it may have been what's called a lover's quarrel unrequited love it may have been a breakup and it may be an adventure in love that turned harsh but I'm here to help you mend. And I will not let your broken heart bleed. I will wash, clear, heal, balance, and place a bandage over the wound, protect, and send the healing means deep, restful sleep, and a peaceful return to you. I want you to take it easy on the path of love for right now. Soon you will feel vitality return, but for right now it's time to rest. The true message when you've had heartache it's important to treat yourself well take time away from flurry shoulds you were so often to be confronted with like should I do this should I do that like take away you know take away the pressure of worrying about what you should be worrying about and what you should be doing right now just heal and rest that's what they're trying to tell you to do why not take some time to snuggle on the couch with a favorite old movie and have a sniffle? Have a long, comforting bath and make sure that you promise yourself to close people who are, um, and promise yourself to let close the people who are worthy of your love. It is not about being bitter and guarded, but you are sensitive, tender, and a sweet being, and some people are just not. Now it is time for some harshness, soft blanket, sweet dreams, long bath, and reduction of the harsh energy that's around you. Then men, the broken heart fairy can fly in to soothe you. You will feel her presence and she will lift the pain until all of that is left is sweet and gentle wisdom. So I feel like in the past, like, Leo has tried to force their self to you know like how sometimes you feel like in order to get over a situation you got to get under a new situation and I feel that Leo thought that they needed to do that to heal their heart and realize that that may be turned into a disaster which took a stab into their heart again you know which was already a broken heart and it's just like you know stop Leo realized to stop trying to force theirself to get over this situation and actually allow themselves some time to heal and stop trying to worry about replacing somebody. You know what I'm saying? At this current moment, and just go through the process of just healing and just building that foundation that you're worrying about right now and focus on healing your heart. The Empress in Reverse. Feeling uncomfortable. Feeling like they need a change of their environment. A change of their environment. Feeling like they need to redo their life. Like this Leo woman feels like she she wants a new look, a new hairdo. She wants to change her furniture around in her house or just like honestly when she walks into her house, she don't want to see nothing that reminds her of the past. I can see during this tax season, like y'all are getting rid of old furniture and y'all are just like completely upgrading your life and like giving yourself a time to grow in the space that you're in. And not only that, um I just feel like you're really cleaning up your environment to give yourself room and and and, and Brightening up your environment. I feel like y'all are opening up the windows. I mean, opening up the shades a little bit more to let the, the natural light um, come in. And yet, y'all are preparing yourself to get ready to soar. And not only that, um, you are resting and healing mentally right now. And, like, you're really detached. Um, like, almost in, like, a hermit state. 
your inner hermit state because you're trying to find that balance and I'm trying to find that balance and you're trying to temper yourself and get your faith together, get your hope together, get your dreams together. Um, yeah. Okay. So like I said, it's time to like really make a change and spruce things up and completely just remake and remodel your life. You kind of turned everything out. You, I mean, you've turned your back on everything and maybe you're, yeah, you're turning everything out. Everything that's in your house, you're turning it around and you're turning it out. You know, you are, if not, um, like maybe... You guys got some old cabinets or some dressers. Maybe you guys are like staining it, giving it a new look. Like you guys are just redoing your life right now because you just want to let the air in. You want the light to, to shine. You want the trees to grow. You just want everything to grow. And you, you want to be able to freely create and you need your environment to be clean. You need your environment to feel comfortable and you're just ready to soar at this current moment. So I feel like you've turned... You're back on a lot of things. You turn and you see that skull in that water. <laughs> you um I feel like that is the lake of um that is that is that lake of intuition and I feel like something had to die. Something had to die in order for you to get your emotions together because it's in some water. It's in some water. So yeah. You guys are definitely secluding yourself from the world and you're getting your thoughts together. You're regaining your consciousness. You're getting yourself mentally balanced. I think you're retracing your steps, trying to figure out where you went wrong in certain situations so that you can get some wisdom for today before you get your butt back out in the street and, you know, really try to conquer this world again, you know, and reshape this environment um i feel like you're really recreating your environment but before you do it you want to make sure that you're going into this smarter than you went into it last time because you don't want to go through this experience again and that's the uh, temperance card all right so you see that's the hangman gallows over there and in the hangman card in this deck this hangman willingly walks over to the gallows he is like irritated with the world he just feel like it's mundane everything is predictable it's too much drama it's chaos it's frustration it's confusing and he's just like man look i want to remove myself from this world i just want to be to myself i need to be to myself to get my thoughts together to see things clearly i need to be able to see things from a different view vantage for me to be able to grow I had to step outside and look at myself from a different view. And this is, you know, someone that is trying to is trying to get their self balance and trying to regather their faith, their strength, and get some peace in their life. This this is peace and this is strength. And it's like the, the 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 temperance angel is looking at the hangman gallows and just trying to figure out like. You know, is it really, do I need to go that far where I really need to remove myself from the world to the point where I'm going to the hangman gallows and hang myself up like that? Or can I try to, you know, use my strength and, and regather my peace and my faith on my own by just, you know, trying to get myself tempered and balanced here? Or, you know, like the, the Leo's really thinking about this and... I want to say, I want to say that Leo has kind of been thinking about not only just reshaping their environment and just their living quarters in their house, but I want to say Leo has possibly been thinking about removing herself from a situation and from an area altogether. I really do feel like Leo has possibly been thinking about moving. And I don't see any cards here that says anything about moving, but that's just what my intuition is telling me. Like, I feel like some Leos are like, man, I had enough. I really don't even have anything left here. And the thought of removing themselves from the current world, because it's just, you know, 
it's just like, look, do I really need to go and do this? You know? And this is going to the extreme. So that's why I feel like, you know, some of you guys are thinking like possibly going to the extreme. It's just like, man, if things don't kind of settle down, if I can't get no balance here, if I can't, if I can't control this situation and if I can't find no peace and if I can't get no balance here, then maybe I do need to um, take that trip. Maybe I do need to completely remove myself because, you know, I'd rather be hung up trying to work on self change. Versus get myself hung up in this shit anymore. Because this is this is not what I want to do. Um, you're finally paying attention and you're focused that, you know, emotionally there's nothing there anymore. There's nothing there anymore. And, you know, someone is moving away. So you see this crab there. It could be a cancer in your element. Um, this is the water sign. So, I mean, this, this card does represent the water sign, cancer, Pisces, um... Scorpio, so there could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's in your environment, and you're looking at this person slowly crawling away, and all of the cups have been spilled. Do you see what I'm saying? So this might be someone that is finally paying attention, finally paying attention, and realizing that hey, you know, it might not be nothing here emotionally for me to, you know. There might not be nothing here to work on. There's nothing here for me to work on. It looks like someone's moving away and I'm slowly watching this person move away. And look, you know, I'm looking at this person. I'm thinking, I'm thinking if I even want to be here anymore. And I don't think, I think you're rejecting it. You don't, you don't. This person don't want to be here, and it's just like you looking at the situation like, well, what, what is there to stay for? You don't feel like there would be any victory in this situation here. You feel like everybody and everything has been turning against you. So it's like, why should I stay here? And I honestly do feel like, you know, Leo is thinking about leaving. Leo is thinking about leaving and just relocating and going somewhere else. Please give me some additional um, guidance. But I just want to see if there's anything else that might pop out. Please give me some guidance for March for Leo. Is there any other guidance that you have for Leo? Thank you so much for March. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are letting go. You guys are letting go because you don't feel like there's, there's... You guys are letting go of a foundation where you're currently at because you don't feel like there's anything left there of any value you're looking into the future and the only thing you see is like two or three towers like two or three four towers of just like upcoming unexpected events of just drama and just bullshit and chaos that can come completely come down and just cause more bullshit you're just like man i'm letting this shit i i i, I i'm good i'm leaving that's what I'm getting. Y'all let me know if I'm on point with that because I don't see any travel cards. But I definitely do know that it's someone that is trying to deal and men with a broken heart. There's someone that is completely needing to change their environment. Okay. It says. Okay. All right. It's that stay optimistic about your love life. And I don't feel like there's a lot of optimism. But that there is a new person that's coming into your life. And I feel like once you finally make that decision to make that movement. Because you, you, you don't feel like you're being victorious. You don't, you don't feel like you're, you've been victorious in the situation that you're currently in. But it's going to take a little bit of time for this person to get to you. Because you need to get over. You need to get over. Um. I get it. All right. So, this is it, Leo. You're not optimistic about love right now. I just feel like you are kind of just down in regards to love is concerned. You're not feeling optimistic in regards to love. You like fuck love right now. <laughs> 
That's why I'm like, you like fuck love right now. I ain't even worried about that shit. But new love is coming to you, Leo. It is coming to you. But it's just going to take some time. It's not coming anytime soon. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Because you got to go through this honeymoon period of you feeling like you don't have any more passion to give to love. Once you get your spark back. Once you get your spark back, you're going to be out there again ready to get to know people. You know how you are, Leo. You know how y'all could be social and y'all are the life of the party sometimes when y'all want to get out there and shake a tail feather. You're going to be back out there getting to know people. And when you do that, you're going to bump into somebody and you're going to find a new love, Leo. You most definitely are going to find a new love. But right now, you off some fuck love shit. Like, you're going through this honeymoon stage that you just like, look... <sighs> I ain't trying to be beating nobody right now. I look. You just don't. You don't have nothing to give right now. And even the thought of hearing like new love is coming. It's like no. I don't even give a fuck. Like some of y'all excited. Like yeah for real. For real. Give me some guidance for Leo. Love for March. Ooh. Alright. So, your thing is right now, your vibrations is just off. Like, this whole situation has been throwing your vibe the fuck off. And that's why you're like, I need to get the fuck out of here. Because I'm starting to mirror the ignorance of the energy that's around me and that's when i realized i got to go because i ain't nobody's victim and these motherfuckers around here trying to play like they're a goddamn victim and they ain't no goddamn victim motherfuckers everybody played a part in this situation only person i'm worried about is my kids only people I'm worried about is my kids. I don't give a fuck about no goddamn union. I don't want to work in no relationship. I don't I don't want to do it right now. I'm going to take down this this boundary that I have, however. But I'm not interested in no twin flame relationship. Fuck that twin flame shit. Fuck that shit. I don't want no parts of that shit. I don't want nobody that's coming in and out of my life and we chasing each other and we can't figure each other out and we're going, nah, fuck that shit. I don't know. Nah, fuck that shit. My twin flame gonna have to meet me next goddamn uh, lifetime or some shit. Okay? Because I'm not going to continue going through this cycle of feeling abandoned by this person i got free will to do what i want to do and if this relationship is not going to work in this lifetime i got free will to figure out something else to do because i got to get my vibes back together because this whole situation is throwing me off only person i'm giving a fuck is about my kids i don't want to continue putting the barriers and boundaries you know in regards to love and i feel like leo is trying to um you know temper itself and get some balance but in the current environment they're at right now, it's like they're public enemy number one. They feel like the people that should have been had their back and, you know, that they were doing everything for everybody and turned their back against them. So they just like, man, no, light. You think I'm about to be going through this shit three, four more times with y'all? Fuck y'all. I'm about to get the fuck one out of here. As long as I can see my kids. Tch. And I feel like some of the Leo females, y'all taking y'all kids with y'all. Y'all like, man, I'm gone. Uh, I got free will to get the fuck up and do what the fuck I want to do. I don't like the vibe here. I don't like the vibe here. I'm not optimistic in love in this area. I'm tired of living here. I'm going somewhere, you know, to maybe some new love will open up somewhere else. Because I, I don't I don't have it to do. Please give Leo guidance. You worried about your family. Thank you. Please give Leo guidance in regards to their life purpose and career. The only thing Leo is focused about is their family. As long as they can take care of their family, that's the only thing that they're focusing their life on right now is their family. That's it and that's all. Teaching. Teaching in reverse. Um, hmm. Let me see what else I got to say. Creative expression. What's up? Okay. Creative expression. There we go. Boom. Travel. I told you you was leaving. <laughs> Didn't I tell y'all that uh, Leo was leaving? I told you. Leo is packing their shit and leaving. 
on that midnight train in Georgia. <laughs> they don't like their environment. Did I not tell you, young grasshopper? Young grasshopper. Okay, listen. Listen, Linda, when me talk, me talk. When me talk, me talk. Let me stop my fake. Let me stop with this fake Jamaican acting. My, see, my, my baby father. See, y'all can tell my baby father be over here. <laughs> anyway, only person that y'all worried about is your kids. The only people that you worried about is your kids and your mother and your father and your brothers and your sister. If y'all have a sister and stuff like that, that's the only people that y'all worry about. And if your brothers and sisters and stuff, y'all grown, y'all can talk to each other on FaceTime. You like, man, look, as long as they understand, I'm cool. Because there's nothing, there's nothing left to learn here. Like, you've got all of the lessons. You've learned everything that you need to learn in this situation. And it's like, man, I need to be able to creative express myself and to... I need to express myself creatively. I need to focus on my business, on my work. I feel like a lot of you guys, some of you guys are artists. Y'all are painters. Y'all are musicians. I feel like y'all, some of you guys are um, culinary students. I feel like a lot of you guys are web designers. You um, create um, databases and um, you create databases and apps. I feel like a lot of you guys are really technical and you guys are in IT. Like y'all are a beast at fucking IT. And you guys can create the fuck out of some goddamn applications and some database type shit. And it's just like, man, look, if I really focus on my business, I could just travel the world for a fucking living doing whatever the fuck I want to do. And I think that's what y'all are about to do. I think y'all have hold yourself back from doing what it is that you really want to do creatively because of your family. And it's like, look, now my my ex-wife, she got this shit. She got the kids. I've already communicated with my kids. Look, daddy is about to follow his dreams. And I'm going to be in and out. I'm going to be traveling a lot. And I'm, in the summers, I'm going to take y'all with me. You know? But, uh, to, and I might be moving i might be really making a move like i might take this job somewhere else like i really see y'all changing your environment because you do not like your current environment at the fuck all you don't like it and you said i got free will to do what i want i'm not abandoning my kids as long as my kids know that I'm not abandoning them, that I will be back and I come and get them during the summers and the holidays and all of that stuff like that. And I will be back and forth to the area. Of course, I have free will to do what I want to do. Ain't nothing holding me here no more. Ain't nothing holding me here. I'm done. I'm done. Done. Done, done. And the fuck done. Please, let's look into the shadows. Please give Leo some guidance in regards to if there's anything that they need to clean up in the shadow. Thank you so much. Please give us a quick peek in the shadow. All right. Misguided. I feel like they had some misguided energy when they were making a lot of the mistakes that they were making. And they realized that they were misguided. They realized that they, they were misguided. But the light is shining now. They see everything that they were doing wrong. And they know that they were misguided. And that's why they've been trying to correct a few things. And it's been hard for them to walk away. It's really been hard for them to walk away. But, you know, it's shocking. It's shocking. Because they finally got to this place where they're not insecure. And they know what to do right now. Okay? They know what to do. But for some reason, ooh, but for some reason they feel like a sellout for having to walk away. And they they feel like a sellout and they feel like they broke their promise to God by dishonoring the unit, the you know, the union of the marriage and stepping outside of the the marriage, you know. And then that put them in a place for a long time where they were insecure and they just didn't know how they were going to get their self back and back balance because they felt really bad about what they did and it haunted them for a long time. But now it's time for them to move on and let's just get some day to day guidance for the sign of Leo. Please give the uh, Leo guidance for March. What is this? It's time to get fresh air. Like I said, it's a time for a change of environment. Y'all are ready to 
grab y'all kids and go. Y'all need some fresh air. I need a change of environment. Y'all didn't notice the signs and y'all really try to stick in there as long as y'all could. But it's like, I held my dreams back for far enough. There's no need for me to do that anymore. It's time for me to let my past go. And um, not delay this perfect timing. I don't want to hold myself back when... It's possible the perfect timing for me to move forward and follow my dreams. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go forward and do what I really need to do with my life. Spirit, please give some additional guidance for the sign of Leo. Thanks for getting up out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please give Leo additional guidance for the month of March. Who? I know that's right. I know that's right. Uh-uh. 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 No, they just tried me. They just tried me. They just tried me. Nope, 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 nope. I will not. Nope, we not do nope, 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 nope. Just tried it. You really just tried it. Not doing it today. Not doing it today. So this is what's going on, Leo. This is what's going on. You you have um Open up the door. The sun is shining. And um, as you can see that little baby coming down. You seeing that baby coming down. The sun is shining and you have really been rebirthed. And I don't think that you've seen these blessings coming to you. Like a lot of joy and a lot of happiness is about to come to you. And I don't think that you see it coming. You know, you think that that tower is, you know... Uh, but the tower is not bad at all times. It's not bad. As you can see, this is a solid frame. There's some storms around the tower, but you're in a solid foundation. You're in a solid foundation, and it looks like you got somebody in there with you, so you're not alone. You're not alone, and it doesn't look like um, the storm is that bad where it is going to... You don't see death and destruction. That's basically it. This, you don't see death and destruction. And it looks like some people coming up there to warn you about this tower and you know so honestly what I'm taking this as you got people coming to give you information about this unforeseen newfound happiness and I feel like you do have um, new beginning and brand new fortune to you and only thing that you can see in your brain is just like man <sighs> all of these shakeups and and, and, and and all of this drama going on in my life and that's the only thing that you can see not knowing that this tower moment this unforeseen unknown experience that's about to come into your life is going to bring you extreme happiness and it's going to illuminate something in you that is going to rebirth an energy in you where your creative juices are going to be flowing and you are creating a new life. This is new birth. You are creating new life for yourself and you are going to be galloping into the sunset. You just didn't see it coming. You just didn't see it coming and people are coming to help you and aid you during this transition because you might not be ready for it. You might not be ready for it. And you realize that it's time to put certain things down that didn't, that wasn't of value to you anymore. And some people are coming to help you because I don't think that you've seen the ending of a situation. You honestly felt blindsided because this person is being blindsided by this attack. This person is being blindsided by the time you were blindsided by this ending and having to make this change in your life. And now you're realizing that, you know, 
I might need to halt moving forward so passionately in regards to the situation and I might need to put my energy somewhere else okay so this is someone that put their passions into one area and quickly realized that they needed to make a change and quickly realized that they needed to make a change and they changed their direction and they went somewhere fast they didn't spend a lot of time there they were in and they were out they were in and they were out when they realized this is not a situation where I can give my love and for a matter of fact I might not even know how to love at this current moment but I know in finances and career I'm going to be okay and I know that I have free will to move forward and to change my life and right now the thing I got to do is heal my heart because right now I don't necessarily know how to love and I don't want to hurt nobody I don't want to hurt nobody mm -mm. I don't want to hurt nobody because I was misguided. And right now I'm just focused on walking away and trying to create this new um, foundation and this new happiness for myself. I just want a little bit more. The Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go, that heartbreak. So, honestly, this is before the heart is being pierced. This is before the heart is being pierced. So I honestly feel like before I get my heart broke again, staying here, this is that will of fortune. I'm being blessed with a lot of good opportunities. It's time for me to move forward and just close that chapter and move on. This is fixed energy. And that's the thing. Like Leo is fixed. Leo is fixed, and that's why they really, really tried so hard to make this thing work. Because when they love somebody, they love somebody. Even if it's good or bad, they love somebody. But it's like, it's time to move on. Because I can't let this hurt me no more. I can't, I can't allow this to hurt me no more. And if I stay here, it's just going to happen again. Look, it's just going to happen again. I got to let it go. I got to let it go. I love my ex-wife or I love my ex-husband, but I'm filing for a divorce. And this is the four of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> four of pentacles in reverse and I, you know, I'm deciding not to give in this situation no more. I'm moving on. I'm letting it go. All right, Leo. That is your reading. I love you, love you, love you. I love you much. See you in the mid-month. Um, like, share, and subscribe if this video resonated. And if you want a personal private reading, go ahead and click, click that about tab. Hit that hyperlink, Scorpion Reds Tarot, and simply book me. If this video resonated and gave you some insight, and if you want to give a dollar or two in the PayPal, go ahead and feel free to do so. Thank you so much because it goes right back into this page. Because as y'all know, these are several new decks, and this is a brand new camcorder, and it's all thanks to you guys and your love. And Leo always shows me love. So thank you guys for your love and support, and the many, many views, and the likes, and the shares, because I just, I, I, I can't express my love to my Leo viewers enough. You guys always, always, always show up and show out for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the love. I'll see y'all in the mid-months. Peace.